is it always been the dream or was it like a spare of the moment music had always been my it it always been a dream but i think i was always a little bit scared like fear of failure like if you don't try it something you can't fail of course so i think it was a dream but not one that i'd speak out loud just kind of used to do modeling and other other little things that were kind of would put me in the spotlight but not quite and then um an awful relationship (laughs) <laughs> and just, that helps give you I just sat up at three o'clock in the morning I thought I'm going to write a song about you and it? everyone's going to hear it and you'll be so sorry and that was so long ago that I forget that that's even why if he's not even part of the picture of where my journey it's now it's mad how yeah. things work out isn't it mm-hmm. and those things like it gives you so much inspiration and at the time you're like I feel so good writing this I'm going to annihilate this person and mm-hmm. then you never do anything with the song because you're no, like I'm just happy I'll put it straight out there where, where, oh, where would Taylor Swift and uh, Adele full, be without, without like like you were relationships full full absolutely that's why Adele's it. giving it up she's happy <laughs> she has <isn't> yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've got nothing to write about now <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm giving up spending all my money that's what they say about like Ariana Grande. They're like, I don't care if she's happy. Like, I want the old want Ariana music. Grande. Like, I, I want the old stuff, the, the sad stuff. And no, like, nobody yeah. wants to hear how, 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 how nobody wants to hear how happy you are. No, but do you know what? Writing music. If they want your life to be more miserable than it's theirs, like circular. Then they can identify with it. Because when you're broken, you write music, it fixes you, <laughs> and then you're like, well, what do I write about again? So then you need to do something drastic again yeah. to get some more. <laughs> and life's not perfect, so you can't relate to people having perfect lives. No. So you got to go through the bullshit mm-hmm. to get the good stuff. It's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How did you guys meet and start performing together? How did we meet? I so I know how we met, and it comes back to the busking. We didn't actually I feel meet like there's through a busking. There, there's a story. Because really I want to know from Gus's camera. side. Like, I want to know how my name yeah. came up in <laughs> Gus's life. So for me, I was busking in the middle of Birmingham City Centre, just randomly as I do. Like just before I even started going on TikTok, I was terrified of TikTok. But um, this guy's come over and he's like, "Yo, I can rap." And like. <laughs> Yeah, can you? Is this him? <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no. Me, yeah, yeah so right, Goss yeah. Yeah, came over and dropped eight bars, and yeah, I was like, yeah. yes, he's a G. No, I'm, no, Goss did it wrong for I'm me. I'm mates with PDD, you know. <laughs> Goss did not write for me, no. So I, I did... Um, <laughs> That's it, G-D. That's it. I did, like, literally, just, he, this guy's done some rapping on the microphone. I've done some rapping, and I'm... I do grime, like, I, I take people by surprise, usually. But then I've never... Alicia Dixon, I yeah, love it. Yeah, like, I it just it. literally, like, a bit of everything MC. one day. I'll do an opera song one day. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I let him, I let him um, do some bars on my microphone. I came in and kind of like showed him what for. But then years later, my phone rang and it was this guy. And he's like, right, I've got a really amazing producer. He's looking for a female rapper. Da, 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 da. And I was like, oh my God, this sounds really amazing. Oh, uh. And then the first time I met Gus, I actually crashed my car. I was that nervous going to go and see him. Because I just knew yeah, how much did, talented yeah. he was. Yeah. I just was... Do you I have was, that effect on people? You think they crash their cars? And <laughs> well, you know. Before I'd even left my car point. park. Before I'd left my car park, I'd crashed my car. And I was like, right, okay, I'm going to have to tell him. <laughs> I've crashed my car, but I'm still in the way. I'm gonna just try my best. <laughs> but yeah, that was from my from my. I just got a random call off a random guy that was like, "Look, someone's looking for a female vocalist." And then, and yeah. that was you that was looking for the female vocalist. Yeah. 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 Led to See? the Grange Studio. I am <laughs> handy with a pen, and I speak my words with truth, so you could try to follow me. I tell you it's no use, cause I can show you the way, but still you can't walk in my shoes and see my heart is pure, and so I've got nothing to lose. Cause I don't quite frankly give a damn I'm woman, so take me as I am Take me as I am And you've had some good sure stuff do, yourself, do, do, do. Yeah, back in the day, probably big, before big your release. time but no, I else. remember it, yeah. For the oldies <laughs> who are listening in Any Radio 2 listeners knocking around? <laughs> I'm sure, sure there is, yeah my yeah, a bit of a legend in my own lunchtime. Yeah, tell us a bit about that. Uh, I did a tune years and years ago in called Girls Like Us. Uh, it's a bit of a... Well, I thought I was making really cool, hip, underground garage music. <laughs> it turned out it was lightweight pop. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, as I'll, pop as pop gets. I'll, I'll, I'll take popular. that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and it kind of rolled its way to London. Uh, went to number seven in the charts back Amazing. in the day. Yeah, uh, Another claim to fame is that it topped the pops. Oh! I love they went to the studio the other day and I was like, Great. Gus. <laughs> Were you there? No, no, but I saw it on TikTok. I was like, Gus, have you done Top of the Pops and you've not told me? Tell me all about it. He was like, yeah, we're here to record. I was like, yeah, cool. So when you did Top of the Pops. <laughs> That's so iconic. It Who is, was presenting it at the time? Uh, now you're asking me questions. Was it I Jamie can't remember now. But I all, like I remember, all I remember about it was, it was um, I was like miming with this keyboard. And I got about halfway through, I thought, I'm never going to be here again. And I, and I just jumped up, ran around and went, hello, mum. Oh, <laughs> not the first thing being like, "Hi, mom." <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Probably but yeah, no, it was cool. And um, I, 
the, the original single was from Jamaica, so she went back to Jamaica, so I wasn't able to exploit the record to the fullest okay. opportunity that I could. And since all this sort of resurgence back in old people's music, for some reason, mm -hmm. 90s house and garage and all that type of thing, I had a bit of an epiphany a couple of years ago, decided I was going to be a DJ, I was going to do all sorts of things, and then one of the ideas was I wanted to then bring my record back out to PA. Yeah. So I'm looking for a very specific person, and I wasn't looking for a while, and then... You yeah. find her. I found her. <laughs> Who she is. And here she is in all of her glory. Uh, and we just get on really well. We connect really well. Mm -hmm. we, we, you know, think musically quite together. So we're helping each other out. Mm. I've, uh, wor I've worked with a lot of different mm. producers and a lot of different men in the industry. And honestly, I am just, I thank my lucky stars so often that I found Gus. It's just such it's a brilliant relationship. It's like. great when you find someone that you can work with and you can trust as well. Uh -huh. Yeah, because... This industry is cutthroat. Yes. Absolutely. And people will tell you one thing to your face and have complete opposite intentions uh -huh. behind your back, so... I think it's good because we're helping each other grow. And you've got the experience as well. You've got like, yeah, got I've obviously got experience. I perform a lot, a lot, a lot, but I'm in the streets. I d mm. Do you know what I mean? Like you've got the experience of knowing to kind of look at contracts and knowing to watch out for I've certain been through the mill. people. When, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Been so. through the mill. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. But like she's helping me because um, sort of bring my record back out to life and I'm helping her develop yeah. What incredible! She doesn't. She's got no idea how talented she is. This is the thing about her. You see, she's Aww. not been doing it that long, really. And she came to my studio with these sort of diamonds in the rough. They were literally sort of songs. I was like, wow, they're, she's got no idea how good they are. But they just needed that little bit of Spice. structure. Like it comes it honestly, he comes along yeah. and like he turns my song from like. Like a, it's like a, not a shell of a song, but like how, you, how it sounded, how you wanted it to sound. How I didn't know I wanted it to sound like someone. Like, I, I listen, I'm like, is that you've, this is my whole song. Like, it's like a full song. Like you could put that on the radio, and I'm like, you could. Yeah. Where before, I'm like, oh, should would I show it someone? Would I not? Whereas Gosh, he just sprinkles something on it, and I'm just like, That's like musical wizard. Yeah, uh, literally, spells. exactly that, exactly that. So but I stand by that, though. I think like networking, meeting other people, and having other people to work with yeah. is the key to having like success. Hundred well, we've percent. Been, we've no been we've been very lucky. Themselves. She brought in a tune, and we just kind of heard it in a particular way. I sort of finished the productions. We've just signed it to um, APM, which is one of the biggest. Incredible! Um, Congratulations. That's insane. So we've got um, we've got that lined up with them. They're really pleased about that. And then next, they're going to take a four track EP that we she's more or less written, and I think it's crazy to me. So like, this is stuff that I was just sitting at the kitchen wow. table so that, and we're just very like excited to have that come out on APM. And then hopefully that will lead to an album, you know. And who knows? Who knows what? What we're hoping is we get a massive sync on a film, and then yeah. that will launch her to where she really needs to be. And then you just live off the royalties. For I just want to make the world a better place. That's what I'm here One for. One movie and then you're done. The world a better place. By my side, I want to pour the world with you. I want to take a little second to make some time with you. Yeah. They say the best things in life are free. But when we're talking about you and me, there's no price to hide. The limits the sky, yeah. I met him on a Sunday, I was feeling kind of funny. Packed up all my things and then I threw them in a bomb bag. Feeling kind of low, ask me why, but I don't know. Life has got a way of keeping darkness till you grow. Cheers. Life, yeah. I got you by my side. Yeah. I'm so excited to see what you do next. Like, no. it seems to be a lot in the pipeline coming. And that up just for you. that to me says that we're we're on the right path. Like for me, when I when I'm on the right path musically on this journey, I don't have to push. Mm -hmm. Doors just kind of like the right thing. The, do you know what I mean? The when right you're thing on the happens. right path, it, they doors open for you. That's the, and it sounds really cliche. No, but, but it's true. Like people wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. And there's no with this like thing. There's no like stop marks, is there? There's no check marks. But you oh, could have no. done something three years ago that now comes back up, and someone's like, "Oh yeah, that person from the day." Like it's for it's, sure. It's, it's not a linear journey, and yeah. you'll never know what point you're at because you don't, don't know who's talking about you. Yeah. In what rooms? Like even when you look at what's trending on TikTok, like the TikTok sounds from maybe like a clip from Big Brother eleven years ago, and it's so random. Do you exactly. know what I mean? And it just blows up, and then these people get so much fame off it, mm -hmm. and so many royalties and whatever. I think like the, the Fleetwood Mac one was the was it the guy drinking the drink and he was on a skateboard. It was a TikTok thing. And it, was a, it was a Fleetwood Mac tune. Uh, 
and it introduced and did it just it bring to it back a whole new again? generation of people. Never, they're all like, this is amazing. Like Nobody had ever heard of it. They didn't realise well. it, it, it's, it's 30 yeah. years old. That's, that's yeah. Stranger Things, yeah. Yeah, like she, she brought that song out like 30 years ago or 20 years ago. And you've got the people that are like gatekeeping it. They're like, oh, you can't listen to that because you've oh. only just heard it. No, I've been listening <laughs> to that. Is that how music works? Exactly. I hear it, I like it, I consume it. It's like art, it's fashion, anything. It's always recycled. Like it always comes back into fashion. Like it always makes it I think that's. I think my aim is to kind of, it's not even my aim it's not I don't sit there and think I'm gonna write something timeless but I think I know oh I feel like I've written a good song when I feel like it could have come out 30 years ago or 50, today, 20 years yeah. now do you know what I mean when I feel like it's just I don't know like something that's not of a moment I don't like to write of a moment I like to write what is the, your style that you like to write like what is I couldn't even pinpoint that it's so if you had to if I had to pinpoint it just literally from the heart I don't know how to write anything that isn't true like any single lyric you've ever heard of real. mine Love is it. is co- it's uh, yeah. I think you have when you're writing, you the more contrived it is, the more obvious that there's work being put into it. I think mm-hmm. when I think Lahendra has a really good talent of being able to when she sings, you, you're you're really listening to just her singing. You're not listening to a contrived sort of perception of what she thinks you want to hear. She's yeah. just effortlessly singing and that's yeah. what comes across you know what I mean so it could be with an acoustic guitar or it could be with an orchestra or it could be with whatever but that kind of effortless true to yourself comes across very well do you know we don't blow smoke up each other's asses I've never heard us <laughs> talk about this about me how am I it's not what you think isn't it really nice when people give you compliments about you know what I mean I'm like, like, like thanks is that Gus? really how you think of me thanks but it must be lovely for you as well like us to be doing that music like years and years ago to then for it to be recycled again and having new projects and starting new things that are like uh, having you just as excited. Absolutely, absolutely. I think the thing is like, I mean, I've been a music producer my whole life. I've never done anything else ever yeah. in my whole, whole life. Um, music never leaves you. It never stops. Like somebody said, oh, when, it doesn't. When, the, so when are you going to retire? I'm like, never. What? Like, there's no end point. There's no <laughs> what, start. There's no finish. Stop being myself. So yeah. It doesn't <laughs> exist. Like, I'll retire no. when I die. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, that's just the way it is. I think when you, when it's, it's from when, here. Yeah. And when you're lucky work. enough to make your passion your, yes. your work. And and what your, they say your, is, um, you know, do what you love and you never work a day in your life. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you know what's so refreshing? Like, to see you get so exciting and, like, have such a, like, promising, like, future ahead of you in the next wee while. And you aren't, like, fresh 16-year-olds, you know. You aren't, like, little kids being like, oh, let's get on TikTok and dance and try and be famous. Like, <laughs> it's really it's, nice it's to, coming, to It's see. coming from my heart. Yeah, I can't like explain it. Everything feels right. Like, I'm not doing this because I want my face to be out there. Like, that's going to be a side package of what I, I... Honestly, it sounds so cheesy. I want to make the world a better place. And I don't know how else to do that, that. Other than go out and show people that when people say nasty things about you online, what's it going to change? Nothing. You're exactly. still you. In exactly. fact, if anything, just take it on the chin and say something funny off the back of it. And it, you, you, if it, you've, you, you, your wits become a little bit smarter. Or there's Absolutely. always something. I just want to be out there because there's so many people out there with a not the greatest of messages. Mm-hmm. So that's my, and I think if, you, if I'd have been 19 doing this, the things I'd have been willing to do do you know what I mean? But Magazine if you covers had, and had you know what I mean? you when you were 19 to look up to, maybe it would have been a different but, but story. Do you know what you've just said? That is my so thing. You've be I want that to be person. the artist that I did not have to look yeah. up to when I was a little you've girl. Be your own yeah. big sister you've literally you just. Have, oh, I love that. I love that. I get you, girl. You obviously I get you, girl. Yeah, I do. <laughs> well, is there anything that you just want to sort of plug to the cameras or anything? Any like gigs or releases or? I'm just the worst at that. <laughs> I am the hander. <laughs> tell, tell, tell me where you're okay, always so busking and where you can I, find I, so, I, so I started doing TikTok lives and it's it's picked up rather well. Like I really very well love what you're I being honestly. I, it's there's a community Come on. there and you're Come smashing on. it. Oh, I'm smashing smashing it, little it a little bit. <laughs> smashing um, it. Bam. So I usually busk around sort of Midlands areas, but I do travel all around. And you can go and follow me on TikTok if you want. No obligation. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's Nanda Music. Follower, there is an obligation. Absolutely, there is. N e h a n d a music. But honestly, it's a really good time. Even if you're not that big a fan of my voice, it, it's just a good vibe. <laughs> like, it's, we have a good time in the That's chat. That's the best like. promo I've ever heard. <laughs> Even if you don't like my voice, it's a good time. <laughs> For me, it was like, we have a vibe. It's a vibe. You're so real. I love it. Guys, this has been such a pleasure. Thank you so I'm much for coming and chatting so to me. Thank you and thank much. you for performing for us as well. Absolutely, our pleasure. Thanks, Chris. Yep, no problem. Over and out.